So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth for Ionic Framework tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can set up Sublime Text for Ionic applications and again this is completely optional tutorial. If you want to set up some other sort of text editor you are free to go. I just like Sublime Text so I'm going to make use of that but you can make use of any text editor you want or maybe even an IDE if you want to do. So we are on Mac again and the steps would be again similar for Windows users. You just need to install Sublime Text and follow along. So once you have installed Sublime Text, what you want to do is uh, in your terminal, once you open the directory of the um, Ionic app you have, just write subl dot and it will open the directory in your Sublime Text. So right now I have all the syntax highlighting and themes available with Sublime Text and a lot of people ask me about the theme. So this is not the theme which I use on Windows. This is a material theme and I liked it actually but uh, the one I had on Windows is pretty good as well. So to install this theme what you can do is hold command shift P and write install package on Mac and write here material theme. I wouldn't get that option because I already have installed that theme so it doesn't show me that but you should get, you should see an option here which is like theme material theme and just install that and once you do that you will be presented with this theme okay so next thing is that once you open any of this TypeScript file if you haven't configured your sublime text you would pretty much see here plain text and there would be no syntax highlighting to again to make syntax make use of syntax highlighting for sublime text typescript just write typescript here again i have installed typescript in my sublime text so it doesn't show me that but you would probably get a typescript just a typescript package here with the or actually it's command shift p type command shift p right here install package sorry install package and then typescript here so you should see a typescript with the description that it's a, a syntax highlighter and all that compiler but you can just go ahead and install that and it'll just start showing you the basic syntax highlighting so yeah that's all how you would configure your application with sublime text and uh, as a matter of fact i can just give you a pro tip that your application starts from this index.html so you can write here hello world just in case you are interested in modifying it from the day one so if we reload this you would probably not see that right here but uh, you would see it right here this is the same index file we have Okay, so yeah, that's all pretty much for this tutorial and if you liked it, then please don't forget to subscribe and again, I have my Patreon link in the description. So if you want to check that out, please go ahead and do that. So that's all for this one and if you liked it, again, then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one. We're going to start with the real Ionic coding.